brothers and sisters at 11th Street Baptist Church with coronavirus continuing to spread and infect more and more people. We have several obligations. We have the obligation and command to meet together, but we also have the obligation to respect our authorities and to care for those who are most vulnerable to this virus among us. So we have developed a plan about what church service will look like this Sunday. First, if you are in an at-risk category, or if you care for somebody who is in an at-risk category, we would just just plead with you to stay home. We are making our live stream available to you, and in this email you will see a link to that, uh, that URL where you can watch our live stream sermon this week. We'll also send out a digital bulletin where you can uh, either find recordings of the worship service, of the of recordings of the songs on YouTube or Vimeo that you can list before the sermon or perhaps that you could just sing with your family uh, together. So we have resources available for you this Sunday if you are in an at-risk category to stay home. If you are healthy and you are able to meet together, we encourage you to come to gather. For when we gather, we are encouraging one another to believe the gospel of Jesus Christ. And we need to be reminded of the power of the gospel, especially in fearful times, uh, like the spreading of, of the coronavirus. So if you come, please be aware that there are several differences that we're going to adopt for this church service. We're not going to pass out an offering plate. Rather, there'll be an offering plate uh, at the back of the church service this week. We're not going to have a time of greeting, nor will there be an opportunity to shake your pastor's hand. We will practice social, uh, safe social distancing. We will maintain uh, a healthy uh, distance um, be, be between us in order to promote, uh, uh, promote health. We'll also have uh, hand sanitizer and Lysol wipes, wipes readily available. So we are commanded to meet together, and if you are healthy and able, uh, uh, we, we, we uh, ask that you would come, but if you are in an at-risk category, we, we ask that you would stay home and avail yourself to our live streaming options. Now, that's our plan for this Sunday. Uh, certainly, if coronavirus continues to spread, we'll have to develop new plans, and we will uh, do that uh, at the right time. But in addition to the Sunday morning service, we're going to continue with Sunday school. Uh, our teachers are going to be available. Now, we might have less attendance, in which case we'll combine some of our classes, but our Sunday night children's tea activity has been canceled and will be postponed until the coronavirus uh, subsides. Now, that's our plan, but this is also an opportunity. In the midst of fearful circumstances, we have a right, a very ripe uh, environment and situation to proclaim the gospel of Jesus Christ. Right now, people are afraid, and if if coronavirus continues to spread, there will be greater and greater isolation. And as people isolate and they don't have community engagement, there there will be opportunities for Satan to attack people. What people need to know is that in the midst of a fearful virus, there is a God who has conquered this fearful virus. That in the midst of potential death and the reminder of the futility of our lives, that there is a God who delights in saving those who have momentary lives. We need to be take we need to understand this as an opportunity for the gospel of Jesus Christ. Brothers and sisters, this is an opportunity to enrich the reputation of our God. We do this by praying for those who are infected and praying for the lost. We do this by in in why in a wise manner with sanitized hands proclaiming the gospel to our isolated neighbors and sharing with them the message that although they're experiencing isolation right now, they can be brought out of a spiritual isolation to the God who loves them and died for them. And we also can do this by sharing. Brothers and sisters, many of us probably went to the stores and got enough toilet paper and hand sanitizer to last us weeks. I would, I would encourage you uh, to, uh, to share the resources you have uh, with brothers and sisters in need and lost friends, family members, and neighbors who are in need. And as you do, let's see the glory of our God uh, being manifested and his reputation enriched. And let's experience all the joy that is available to us as we enrich his reputation. Brothers and sisters, this is a time uh, 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 to take precautions, but this is not a time to panic. We serve a God who is sovereign, and we serve a God who is going to enrich his reputation through a situation like this. Let's watch and let's rejoice as he does this.